Honorable Malema, what is your point of order? Uh, Honorable Speaker, we have a, a murderer in the house. We have a, a man who's got blood of innocent people in this house, which is supposed to represent the wills of our people. And therefore, it is incorrect for you to have extended an invitation to the clerk. Because the clerk is a murderer. The clerk has got blood on his hands. The people of Buipatung are turning in their graves. And the clerk said that crime was, you, apartheid was not crime against humanity. It's an unrepentant apologist of apartheid who is not willing to accept that apartheid was crime against humanity. And therefore, it is an insult to those who died and tortured in flag plus under the instructions of the clerk to have the clerk sitting in a democratic parliament. And I therefore suggest, Honorable Speaker, that we please request the clerk to leave this house because it doesn't belong to this house. And good evening and welcome to your view with me on Kopo's JJ Tavern. It's a new season uh, here at Newsroom Africa. Uh, if you have not seen it, you've got to wake up at 6 a.m. to follow Ayanda Nyati, brilliant, brilliant brain there, steering the news feed a.m. Because joined by Impositol, who will take you to midday. And then, of course, Tami uh, Ngubeni and Tabo Mdluli uh, will give you a fresh take. Uh, in the news update, the new update show that comes in the middle of the day before they hand over to Stephen Hruotes, uh, who is, is just joining at this fantastic first show today uh, and on the, the news feed PM. And of course, he joins Kathy Mutlatlana in a new show uh, at between five um, and six, The Palace. What a, what a pacey, beautiful, wonderful show and what a great debut they did. Uh, and then, of course, Kathy Mutlatlana and the uh, uh, Mark Lewis uh, giving us news at Prime and then handing over to us uh, Lindy Saram and JJ Tavan at 8 o'clock and taking you straight to midnight. That's, if you've missed it, you're under a rock. That's a new season here on Newsroom Africa as we bring you our news and our views. For those who are new viewers, because we're starting a new time slot, so welcoming you uh, if you are a, a news reader. Just to make sure you have your seat belt on. We, don't, we are not joking. On this show, we tell you as raw as it gets. We cut through the clutter, through the spin. We cut through the nonsense and tell you exactly what we think. And that's exactly what you should do. You can give us a ring at any time through the show and uh, share your own views. You can send us WhatsApps. You can tweet us. Uh, tweet us at JJ Tavani at Newsroom 405 and share with us your view. And, and, and for you to understand me, I, I'm not a journalist. I, I wish in my next life I could be one. I'm not a journalist. I'm just a mere talk show host who will tell you exactly what's on my mind. And I expect you to do the same. You tell me what's on my mind. The key agenda is to build a nation. And so interrogate things that would build this nation and take us forward. So that's what we intend to do here on your view. We will be coming to your town this year and uh, talk to you where you live so you can tell us what on earth is going on and what you are doing to brighten the corner where you are. That's our mission here on your view, to shape the conversations in this society in order to achieve a better life for all. We know by now, after 26 years, that if we leave that aim of a better life to, for all to politicians, it will never happen. They failed. To make it happen for 26 years, even if you give them another 26 years, they'll still fail. They'll fail because you and I don't hold them accountable enough. They, they have become queens and kings, not servants of the people. They laugh at you. They are, while they're having caviar and, 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 and wonderful banquets around the world, they laugh instead of being accountable to you and I. And so, and on this show, we'll do our bit to give you the platform to hold politicians accountable. We'll bring in some of them here to face the people. We'll be having dialogues to engage civil society, business, and government about how to build this nation. Of course, uh, we, 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 we're relaunching this way after the State of the Nation address. And that clip there, where the EFF was talking about the track, is, it tells us about 
the ugly part of the state of Ani. We talked yesterday about the good and the bad. Tonight I want to talk about the ugly. One of the things that truly irritate the living daylight out of me is a little thing called amnesia. Hey, are so good is a man who live all a man who live all a little bit of all. Yeah, yeah, until he got that day. Amnesia and Tina. One of the tracky is a, it was a head of state, the last head of state of the apartheid government. And it was not out of the goodness of his heart that on the 2nd of February, 30 years ago, he decided that Mandela and all the political prisoners will walk free so that we can negotiate a new settlement. Now today he wants to tell us that he did it so innocently. It was not because the United Nations had a convention that says apartheid was a... Ah, 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 did that no, 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 no. I did it because I thought it was a good thing to do, you know. The third must think we are idiots. And now he has a half-baked apology through his foundation. Was it his foundation that said that he doesn't remember whether apartheid was a crime against humanity? Why is he not out there himself apologizing? Okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> but I think that there is someone who said very clearly, no, don't worry. This is exactly what he's been thinking all this time. In his, in his mind, it was just a question of how do we maneuver to remain in power? And if you followed our dialogue last week, you'd, 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 you'd appreciate what some of the panelists were saying. That no, 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 1994 was truly just about a new sense of status quo, a new way in which white monopoly capital can continue to rule. That's why issues such as land, that would have transferred power to the people, were off the table. They were off the table, man. And now, 25 years later, the same people who convinced us to get those things off the table so that we can build a new nation are spitting in our faces. Dittler is a sample of it. It's not a, an isolated, innocent thing, just Dittler. No, there are a couple of people on both sides of the fence who, in fact, have a little bit of amnesia about where we come from. Who must get a little bit of a history lesson? I see him back as volunteer. I don't know. I'll send you the email, wait. Go who put your apartheid in and come here, wait. Come on, leave it. It's disgusting what the Turk has done. But what for life? What we have to do foundation? But no, no, this was very bad. It's disgusting what the Turk has done. Reversing the project of reconciliation. That Mandela spent his first five years convincing the country, convincing those whose land was stolen to reconcile with the land thieves in their own land. It's a colonization of a special type. It's a colonization of a special type. Where we are with a colonizer and a colonizer in the same place. It's nonsense, man, what the Turk has done. It's nonsense. It has reversed all sense of, 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 of peace. All sense of black people who have been deprived, you know, stretching their hands to their counterparts to build a new nation. And then after Mandela dies, and, and this chap, undeservedly, sits standing next to Mandela to receive the Nobel Prize. Price. I spit when I think of it now. He must be turning in his grave to have even constructed a sentence that said the Turk is a man of integrity. He must be turning in his grave. Nelson Mandela tonight. It's bad what the Turk has done and it's sad that it's not just him but some here. Some here who, who regret, who scorn at the fact that black people now have a sense of dignity of being in charge of their own destinies. Ah, no, 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 colonization of a special type. Why we talk about it now? Why we talk about it now? EFF had to take the lead there. 
in parliament. I mean, what? Hey, the ANC is issuing a statement saying the third person. Nebale guy got got cut as the last week. Nebale guy. They rejected that thing on two and three occasions. The speaker of parliament, who's an ANC leader, a veteran in her own right, said, "No, no, no. The third was is a convention. Yeah, we well, are now <laughs> we have now resigned our political perspective to convention." Yeah, parliament, I'm a boor. Eric Rayleigh, fine. Ah, no, no, no. It's convention. The heads of state must be here. It doesn't matter what they, they may spit on us all they want. They must, it was just, they are just welcome. Zizi God was going there, shiny head and all, saying, yeah, you know, uh, this is rubbish. The president will speak regardless. And, and, and Pulam will be following, not to be outshot. Out None of them saw the sense in questioning the third. I want a lot about, hey, you, 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 that, that jump onto the bandwagon, hey, this thing is a national uh, burning platform now. The same way they did with the land. Should it have not been of the EFF putting the land resolution last year on the table, where would it be? Would, that, would the NCF put that resolution by now? Or it doesn't matter? What's, what's, what's important is a convention. Yeah, where go? Go to Desa Ragrilo, you know, 36, 36 constitutional items and what have you. We are leaderless. We are rudderless. That's why what the Turk can undermine us. They are not undermining us like an accident. Then. They are not accident like an accident. It's because they can see there's a gap. There's a leadership missing piece that is busy going on. It's bad. And then about it's about hey, Ari, let's have a social compact, wait. Let's have a social compact. They are trying to pass the back. Social compact, my foot. You got to do what you are paid to do, what you promised the people you are going to do, which is to lead this nation out of the morass of apartheid. And then a compact will be natural because all of us will have to do our part. Yeah, man. Yeah, that, well, that's a state of an ugly. But the yeah, I reverse a reconciliation at the tag, wait. I reverse. I in one fell soup with one strike of an ill-advised comment. He has undone so much. Even those who were on the side of saying, no, 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 let's work together, Rainbow Nation, Kartutu was, was feeling so embarrassed to, to have his foundation to issue a statement. Tutu must have been embarrassed. Are the rainbow people of God? Arabo di tlak. Arabo di tlak. And the tlak has spent on those efforts of reconciling us. And we can't take it lying down. We are going to have to, to, to talk about social incohesion. That's a state of our nation right now. Social incohesion. Where those, they have become more arrogant by the day. And by one or not, we are the most unequal society in the world. It, 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 the, the, the irony doesn't befall. Eh? We are the most unequal society in the world. Special colonization of a special type. Nonsense. We got to wake up South Africa. And as it was said in a dialogue here by, by one of the, of, 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 of the guests, I think it was uh, Reverend uh, Shimiko Otu, a revolution is waiting to happen but it can't happen automatically you must ask yourself what am i doing in my locality to cause the necessary revolution to change the lives of our people welcome to the new season of your view where we speak truth to power